Hey there, great that you join us. My name is Mick. This is a micro bit. In this mission, you are going to program it. Are you familiar with the game Rock, Paper, Scissors? In this mission, you are going to make a digital version of it. If there are two of you, you can both program your micro bit and play the game that way. If you only have one micro bit, then you just take turns. Start up your browser and go to the page. MakeCode.microbit.org This takes you to the microbit editor where you can program your microbit yourself with blocks of code. First, from the left bar, the input blocks, take the block on shake and drag it to your work field. A variable is a value or information that is saved in the memory of the computer. You can call up a variable at any time in your code, and the value of each variable can change. In this case, the variable stands for one of the three tools of the game, rock, scissors, paper. Drag the block set tool to zero into the on shake block. Your turn. You can pause this video anytime while you are working on your program. Then take from math the block pick random 0 to 10 and place it on the 0. And change the 10 into a 2. From logic, drag an if-then block under set tool. Then, also from logic, 0 equals 0 and replace the first 0 with the variable tool. From basic, you add show LEDs and draw a piece of paper. If your code chooses a zero, then the micro bit chooses the paper symbol. Your turn. Click on the plus icon twice. Duplicate via the right mouse button the tool equals zero block and place it behind else if. Change the zero into a one. From basic you add show LEDs and draw a rock. Then we have to do the scissors. You do not have to check if the variable tool is a 2, because 2 is the only number from 0, 1, and 2 that has been left out. Choose Show LEDs again and draw a pair of scissors. Done. This is what's going to happen now. When you shake the micro bit, your code chooses a random number from 0 to 2 and saves it in the variable tool. If the variable tool is a 0, then it shows the paper. If the variable tool is a 1, then it shows the rock. If the variable tool is not a 0 and not a 1, then it shows the scissors. Your turn.
If it worked, super. If it didn't work, rewind the video and check step by step if your script, the blocks, is exactly the same as the example. Now we are going to send the code to your real micro bit. To send this code to your microcomputer, we first have to download the code to your computer. Give the script a name and then click on the Save icon. The download will start automatically. In my case, the hex file shows up in the folder Downloads. Now I connect my micro bit to my laptop with a USB cable. A new drive appears, micro bit. Next, I drag the file to my micro bit and there it is. Disconnect the micro bit from the computer. It no longer receives power, so first we have to connect some batteries. You do that by placing the batteries into the battery holder. Then connect the plug to the micro bit. And shake it. Did it work? That's great. Now go and play. Great that you joined us and see you at the next mission.